The one thing that inspired me and motivated me to start the Cordoba House Sunday School was that I discovered how powerful the love of God is. Assalamu alaikum. I'm the Executive Director of Cordoba House New York and the Principal of Cordoba House Sunday School. My name is Naz Ahmed Georges. I wanted to start a program that is based on authenticity and connection. Connection to God, connection with the teachers, connection with their community. My teachers are great. We relate to them really well. They're funny. They're really knowledgeable. Um, really not much more I could ask for. They are young. They like connect to us more and they relate to us. They know that you might not come from a background that's um, very Islamic or they might understand that you come from an extremely Islamic background. So when we first started our school, the main aspect of our work was to try to find best practices from educators in the inter interfaith community as well as the Muslim community. What are some things that we can we can learn from them. Our teachers put in a lot of effort. Every single week we have meetings and debriefs with our teachers. It's only a Sunday school program for two hours, but the preparation that goes into it is enormous. So when you first became a teacher, what kind of training did you receive? So we had quite a few meetings where we went over the curriculum. We already had curriculum set. We also met with a professional curriculum developer. She was incredible, very helpful. And she kind of broke down the process for us, what we needed to teach them, but also the methods of teaching. We were really able to implement that into our lessons and also help the kids in ways that we previously could not. Our faith is all about experience. Rasulullah did not even know how to read or write, decent people, but it's the experience of Islam. You know, that's what we are trying to capture. And it can only happen from a person who has experienced it to the student. It's not about memorizing facts. That's why we call it sharing rather than teaching information top down. The concept of Din al Fitra, that the, the, the human nature actually knows God. I want this Cordoba school to be able to bring out the natural knowledge that these young children have about God and not let it escape. Instead of educating it out of them, which is what most schools do, to actually strengthen it. Sister Ahana, like if we get some words wrong, she'll help us like understand the meaning of the word. So whenever we do surahs, we don't just have them memorized, we also have them embody the surah in itself. So meaning we have them act it out. So for example, Surah Al-Fatiha, I think their favorite ayah is Maliki Yaumiddin. So Allah is the king of the, all, all the worlds. So they kind of understand what the surah is talking about through the acts of the movements that they do. I teach older kids. We've talked about student life in high school, college. We've talked about college applications, misconceptions in Islam. And every week it's something new, something new. What I love most about being the principal of Cordoba Hassan School is honestly our community. Our community of parents, our families, our children, and the teachers. Our community is a genuine community that comes together not just for their kids to be dropped off in the program but every single week our community of parents are here having coffee talking about how to bring this community together, how to build this community. So Cardova is really diverse so kids they'll never feel out of place because there's no such thing here. Everyone is so different. Being able to find an Islamic program for my daughter that embraces the universality of Islam while staying truly authentic to it was the biggest appeal. As an involved parent, I also find that I grow as my daughter comes to Sunday school every week as well. It's not just for the kids, it's not just for the students, it's also for the parents. There's events, we have khutbahs, we have lectures, we have book signings, a whole bunch of things that go on here. There's more focus on kind of integrating both life and religion because we do live in America. So helping the students learn how to balance Islam and the real world, the real experience they're living, it's something that Cordoba really excels at, which I think some Islamic schools kind of fail to prioritize. You recommend this school to other students? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Why? <laughs> because we're nice kids. So I definitely recommend Cordoba, especially for people in the Manhattan area. Oh yes, most definitely. The main reason is because not only are they learning, but they're also enjoying it. 
they're coming to Sunday schools in their own will. So you have like kids who are waking their parents up, um, like, you know, we gotta go. Something about Cordoba is that they're really accepting. In other Sunday schools, you know, sometimes I feel really restricted. And so coming to Cordoba has a whole different experience. It's really a place that I look forward to going to on the weekends. It's not something I have to do. And so that's really a big difference for me. The main aspect of growth is not about quantity. It's not about how many students you have, how nice a building you have. It's about the quality, the quality of our educators, the quality of our spiritual education, the quality of our parents. We forget that a school is more than just about teaching points, bullet points to our kids and having lesson plans. The school has grown enormously in terms of quality and we've learned from our own best practices.